Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to niebs home school i am ashish bishesh an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take a math class for the e student of class 5 so my dear student let us start our class today is our lecture number 25 of half yearly and today's sw number will be 15 and my dear student our today's topic is chapter 6 basic discussion and from exercise 6.a we shall solve 1 2 4 and 2 2 4 as your cw and from the same chapter same exercise from 1 3 5 and from 2 3 5 will be your sw okay my dear student let us start our class from this class we shall learn the definition of fraction classification of fraction formula of mixed fraction from improper fraction and value of proper fraction okay my dear student so fraction is what fraction is a part of whole i repeat fraction is a part of whole please notice this is a circle this is a circle now we divide it into four parts please notice 1 2 and this time 1 2 3 4 4 four parts okay if i color on of them then from this we can easily write it in a fraction so at first we write the whole part at first we write the whole part 1 2 3 4 okay at first we write the whole part as denominator okay and please notice the color part is 1 so i write this one part here so please notice this is the fraction 1 by 4 so from this we can say fraction is a part of whole okay and the above number of the fraction is called numerator and the number which is below is called the denominator d nominator i repeat the number which is above the fraction is called numerator and the number which is below the fraction is called denominator okay so this is the definition of the fraction now we shall learn classification of fraction there are three types of fraction one is proper fraction proper fraction okay so proper fraction is when numerator is smaller than denominator then that type of fraction is called proper fraction i repeat when numerator is smaller than its denominator then that type of fraction is called proper fraction please notice 2 by 3 here 2 is numerator and 3 is denominator please notice the definition when numerator is smaller than denominator please here denominator is 3 and 2 is numerator so 2 is less than 3 so we can say this is a proper fraction okay 2 by 3 similar as 1 by 4 then 3 by 8 etc okay etc next proper fraction done improper fraction just opposite of proper fraction just opposite of proper fraction please notice when numerator is greater than its denominator then that type of fraction is called improper fraction here denominator is small and numerator will be greater so please notice an example 4 by 3 please notice here 4 is numerator and 3 is denominator this time numerator is greater and denominator is smaller so when denominator is smaller than numerator then that type of fraction is called improper fraction 
on the other hand you can say when numerator is greater than denominator then that type of fraction is called improper fraction ok similar as 5 by 2 then 7 by 5 etc ok so proper fraction done improper fraction done and number 3 mixed fraction mixed fraction ok an integer and n an integer and a proper fraction uh, together makes a mixed fraction is produced please notice 1 is a is an integer and 2 by 3 is improper fraction when we write this then it is called mixed fraction i repeat an integer and a and proper fraction when they produce a fraction then that type of fraction is called mixed fraction 1 into 2 by 3 here 1 is an integer ok I hope you have un, uh, un, understood then similar as 2 by 3 by 5 2 into 3 by 5 5 into 7 by 11 ok E D C. dear student this is the mixed fraction now we shall learn formula of mixed fraction from improper fraction that means my dear student from improper fraction we transfer this improper fraction into mixed fraction and on the other hand from mixed fraction we shall easily convert it into improper fraction now we shall learn from mixed fraction how can we transfer it into improper fraction ok so please notice mix fraction to to improper fraction ok so first of all we write mix fraction equal to mix fraction equal to denominator will be same I repeat denominator will be same so first of all we denominator ok denominator will be same and now we multiply integer part integer now we write integer part with denominator plus numerator ok so integer part multiply denominator plus numerator so we don't we give here error marks that means from mixed fraction we multiply integer part with denominator and then add with numerator after that that will be the numerator and denominator will be the same from mixed fraction by this way we can find an improper fraction ok I hope you have understood ok now value of proper fraction is what my dear student the value of proper fraction will be less than 1 all time I repeat the value of any proper fraction will be less than 1 all time so first of all we notice 2 by 3 it is a proper fraction now 2 by 3 means we divide 2 by 3 notice 2 2 is a smaller than 3 so we can't divide 2 by 3 so first of all we take uh, uh, 0 3 is 0 then 2 and point for this point I give here 0 so 20 in 23 goes in 3 6 are 18 then again to 
six six by this way six 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 will be happen dear student zero point six 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 that means the value of this fraction is zero point six 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 that means it is less than one just like this wall wall uh, all value of proper fraction must be less than one okay my dear student now we shall go to our today's topics and it is at first we shall learn change into improper fraction that means mixed fraction are given we need to change these two fraction into improper fraction so first one number one two number three into one by nine my dear student please notice so uh, a few moment later a few moment ago we have already learned how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction here 3 into 1 by 9 here 3 is integer part and 1 by 9 is a proper fraction okay so from the formula we can we know numerator uh, denominator will be same that means at first we write here 9 then we write this integer part here after that the in integer part is multiplied with denominator and added with this multiplication will be numerator here numerator is 1 okay okay my dear student 3 nines are 27 3 nines are how much 3 nines are 27 plus 1 by 9 that means 27 28 by 9 okay this is the answer that means if we convert 3 into 1 by 9 into improper fraction then we get 28 by 9 okay and next question question number 4 so here 6 into 3 by 10 here 10 is denominator 6 is integer part and 3 is numerator so from this we know denominator will be same 10 then this integer part is multiplied with denominator which is 10 then that multiplication is added with numerator here numerator is 3 so 10 6 are 60 plus 3 divided by 10 that means 63 by 10 this is the answer that means if we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction then we get 63 by 10 i hope you have understood next we shall solve question number two which is just opposite to it that means some improper fractions are given we need to convert it into mixed fraction so number two 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 number question 21 by 5 my dear student when we want to solve such type of math at first we do divide this 21 by 5 so here 21 in 21 5 goes in 4 times 5 4 are 20 that means if we subtract and we get 1 now quotient must be the integer part i repeat quotient must be the integer part so this 4 is written here and this numerator will be same that means 5 is here and all time denominator will be the numerator sorry all time remainder will be the numerator okay i hope you have understood four quotient and one remainder quotient all time will be the integer part and remainder all time will be the uh, numerator so four into one by five this is the answer of these questions okay so if we convert 21 by 5 into mixed fraction then we get 4 into 1 by 5 okay so next question question number 4 so it is 78 by 11 so 78 in 78 11 goes in 7 times 7 7 are 77 if we subtract then we get on and we know quotient must be the integers part so 7 here and this 
remainder will be the numerator and this divisor that means the denominator will be same here that means 7 into 1 by 11 will be the mixed fraction of this fraction 78 by 11 i hope you have understood so dear student this is our today's lecture from this lecture we have learned a lot of topics about fraction so my dear student there is a sw for you here which is from exercise 6.a you shall solve question number 1 and 2 from 1 you shall solve 3 and 5 from 2 you shall solve question number 3 and 5 also so you must do your assign sw in your sw copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every saturday within 9 am to 3 pm so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu